I got the popcorn. You get the blinds. Let's do this. Yeah. This is my favorite movie. All right. Who's ready for the Oscar special? The what? Um, we're watching Scott Pilgrim tonight. You can do whatever you want to do. Mm -hmm. Who the f is Oscar? All right. Well, now we're doing this. Aww. No, seriously, is someone going to tell me who Oscar is? This week, Weird Things nominated for Best Original Song, The Brochel Network, iCheckMovies.com. Spoiler alert, James Franco gives away some of Sunday's ceremony. And finally, my picks for Best Picture, Actor, Animated Feature, Documentary, Cinematography, Directing, Editing, Writing, and Score. Can we get to the part where we're not bored? Like, the end? <laughs> hey oh. Fine, I'll go do it in the room. You watch your movie. That seemed completely unnecessary. I'll say. Start the movie. I'm going. I'm going. Some very strange people have won an Oscar for Best Original Song. I don't think I need to go any further back than 2005 when 3-6 Mafia won for It's Hard Out Here for a Pimp. Although Hustle and Flow very underrated film. But if you want to know some other weird Oscar original song wins, check out the link in the doobly-doo to the Washington Post blog. For instance, did you know that John Bon Jovi has more Oscar nominations than the Beatles? The Beatles have none. Maybe by the time they get to best original song on the voting ballot, Academy members get distracted. YouTube and bros go way back. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, you, you Chad? No, I'm not Chad. I'm from Newsline. Can I ask you a few questions? Yeah, it, until Chad gets here. That's a camera. Hey, yeah. camera. We're doing an investigative report on bro rape. That's a clip from Derek Comedy that's over four years old. You probably recognize at least one of their members from something called Community. But that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is the Brochel Network. I need to do something newstastic in order to get the attention of the bros. Why? Because they drink, party, and fret really, really hard. People want to go to parties and act like so why not create an image that offers them spares, khakis, tacos? I'm talking about taking everything boss about America and calling it bro. This is a shot-for-shot -shot parody of the social network trailer. It's very effective and very funny. You must watch it. Alicia and I keep a list on our fridge called the movie bucket that we occasionally pick a movie from to watch. It includes all the heavy hitters like Citizen Kane and, you know, the big ones. And the other day when I realized that I needed to fill up the list again, first website that I went to was iCheckMovies.com. Unlike IMDb, which gives you a 1 to 10 star rating, or Netflix that gives you 1 through 5 and then also lets you set your personal taste preferences, iCheckMovies is very simple. You check a movie if you've seen it, you select whether you liked or disliked it, and then you can also choose whether it's a favorite. That's it. Watch, not watch, like, not like, favorite. Five choices. The other thing that's cool is it has lists by top critics, the American Film Institute, uh, best movies by genre. So if you want to watch the top voted 50 action movies, you can see a list, check off the ones you've seen, and add the ones that you haven't to your watch later list. It's a very cool website, a very cool utility. It would be nice if you could check every movie, not just the ones that are on their list. But they have said that that feature is coming soon. A few days ago, a clip of rehearsals for Sunday's Big Show was leaked to YouTube. And when I say leaked, I mean it was uploaded by James Franco. It's only a very short and sweet clip, but it gives away that they're doing a number from Greece. You know, because Inception was just like Greece. Link in my pants. Now, finally, before I give my predictions for winners, I want to say I have not seen every movie that was nominated for Best Picture. I have not seen any movies that were nominated for Best Actress. I haven't seen all the movies nominated for Best Writing. What I'm saying is, I haven't seen a lot of the movies. But out of the ones that I've seen, I'm going to do my best. So, Best Actor Colin Firth, Best Animated Feature Toy Story 3, Best Documentary Exit Through the Gift Shop, Best Cinematography Inception, Best Directing Tom Hooper for The King's Speech, Best Editing John Harris for 127 Hours, Best Writing Original Category, David Seidler for The King's Speech, Adapted Category, Aaron Sorkin for The Social Network. Original score, I gotta say The King's Speech, 127 Hours, and The Social Network all impress me. If any one of those three wins, I'm happy. And as far as I'm concerned, all the technical awards, sound editing, sound mixing, visual effects, they should all go to Inception. And finally, Best Picture, 
the social network. People want to go on the internet and check out their friends, so why not build a website that offers that friends, pictures, profiles. I'm talking about taking the entire social experience of college and putting it online. Did you speak to Ramona then? What? No. I haven't seen her since yeah! 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 Yeah!